Hey Crypto Tips, Kent here again. I know you guys have been loving the video and uh, and audio quality. Uh, thanks for hanging in there and being patient. Toby and Heidi have hooked me up with a new microphone, so hopefully at least you can start hearing me better, huh? Maybe we'll work on the lighting next. Anyway, I just wanted to come on here briefly and talk to you guys about something that I'm seeing. So I do work for a Bitcoin mining company, uh, SAS Mining, um, and we're, we're seeing this on the ground too, where regulations that have come out in China are substantially changing the Bitcoin mining network. Um, what I mean by that is in the past we've seen China come through and, and regulate crypto in various ways and it hasn't really amounted to much but it's definitely spooked the market. This time around seems a bit different. Um, they've come out at, at the highest levels of government so far and said they're going to ban this and they've actually uh, followed through with uh, some specific regulations to the point where if you're mining Bitcoin, um, you're actually going to, at least in specific jurisdictions, your social credit score is going to be impacted. You know, this is this is heavy regulation, and we're seeing that the the miners are actually moving out of China and into more crypto friendly jurisdictions. So, the the thing about it is, well, it's leading to some short term selling pressure, and it's one of the reasons why I think we've we've sold off as hard as we have since uh, peak at 65,000 a few weeks ago, um, I think we should all be thanking China because what's going on is this mining has been, has been part, at least partially dirty being powered by coal energy. And then the second thing that's been going on with mining, the Bitcoin mining, is that there's just been a tremendous amount of the hash power securing the network located in China. So there's... That's allowed a lot of critics of Bitcoin to use those as attack surfaces to go after the network and say, oh, you guys are using dirty power and it's too centralized in China. Well, in one stroke, China is undoing all of that. So the miners are leaving. That means hash rate's going to distribute and it's going to be more decentralized. And the biggest source of, of complaint from the ESG uh, community has been the coal power, which I get it. I'm not a huge fan of coal power either. So the fact that they're no longer going to allow Bitcoin to be mined on coal power in China is great from the environmental concern standpoint. So again, Bitcoin showing its anti-fragility and ability to, to rebound. And why I tend to focus on Bitcoin is because, you know, as much as we may love other projects in this space, myself included, when Bitcoin decides to make a big move, everything moves with it. So if Bitcoin isn't secure and safe and doing well, you know, all of our other favorite crypto projects, at least at this point, are going to suffer. And that's exactly what we've seen uh, with the most recent sell-off. So anyhow, uh, just a quick one. I wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm seeing in the crypto mining space. I uh, hope that helps. Um, we may see some more uh, selling pressure from Chinese miners uh, in the weeks to come. You know, I'm not convinced we're, we're going to jump right back up into a, a strong bull market again. But, you know, you can keep up with my thoughts. Uh, by the newsletter. I'm sure uh, Toby and Heidi will link to that. But, you know, let me know. Love the feedback. Talk to you guys later. Bye.